Welcome to Center of Mass uh, basic series, uh, complex analysis basic series. Uh, for this uh, week's episode, we're going to look at complex integration, which is uh, has some similarities with normal integration. It's a little bit different. Yeah. So to take a complex integral uh, with our notation similar regular integration, the integral of f of z dz along some uh, line l, uh, we look, we, it's the limit of a sum, the sum being uh, some error from k equals 1 to n, f of x k uh, times z, z k minus z k minus 1. And the limit is uh, making it so the, the distance between these z k uh, minus z k minus 1 The distance is going to zero. So these points are getting arbitrarily close to each other. And then our x of k is just a point between zk and zk minus 1 on our line, somewhere between them. So all our points are kind of bunching together, kind of like regular integration. So yeah, if we have some curve, we're just taking a bunch of points, taking values between these points, and summing them. And so the value of this limit approaches will be our, the value of our integral. Uh, as an example, we can do this with a particular function. Uh, So look at the integral of z to the q, dz along some arbitrary, arbitrary line. Uh, so we want the limit of the sum as we ha approach, add more and more points, our, the distance between each point goes to zero. It just approaches some sum, some value. Uh, so note that, so for our point between our, uh, our points with our our partition, initially here we have zk to the q. Uh, note that we can replace this with uh, zk to the q minus 1, zk minus 1, or zk to the q minus p, zk minus 1 to the p. Uh, so the sum of the coefficients here just equals q. And I, we can note that as, uh, as these points become arbitrarily close, uh, this will approach the same limit as if we replace it with one of these. So we add them all together, we multiply by one over q, this gives us our same original limit. But note this thing, or thing here we get from adding all these times zk minus zk minus one gives us zk to the q plus one minus zk minus one to the q plus one times one over q. And then adding all this up, we know uh, this sum telescopes, a lot of all of these terms cancel out, and we're left with just one over q zn to the q plus one minus z naught q plus 1. So this is just 1 over q times the final point to the q plus 1 minus the initial point to the q plus 1, which is pretty similar. It looks pretty similar to regular integration, although uh, there are important differences. Uh, so that's an example of a, of a complex integral. Uh, so one other thing we can do with this So writing our, an arbitrary complex function as f of z equals u plus iv, and putting that in here, we can write this instead in the form uk plus delta xk minus uh, vk delta yk plus i, uk delta xk plus delta, uk delta yk plus delta xk times vk. And uh, this, as our limit makes all these sums go zero, is just a couple integrals, integral u dx minus v dy plus integral u dy plus v dx. So it's, it looks kind of like a, like a line integral. Uh, and so something we can do with this, uh, so recalling Green's theorem,
So we're calling Green's theorem uh, if we have a line integral of integral p dx plus q dy. Uh, we can write that, rewrite it as integral of this uh, curl dp dy minus dq dx dx dy. Assuming our, we have a line integral over a, a closed curve. Uh, so we can use this here and rewrite this a little bit. So we can rewrite our two integrals here using Green's theorem as integral over area, assuming we have a, a closed, smooth curve. Uh, integral over the area containing the curve, negative uh, partial v, partial x, minus partial u, partial y. Yeah, partial y, plus integral over the area again, partial v, partial y, minus partial u, partial x. And one thing to know about this, if our equation if our function is analytical on some domain containing this curve in its interior, and so it satisfies the Cauchy-Riemann equations, and these are actually just, both of these are, are just zero. And so we get a weaker form of the uh, Cauchy integral theorem, uh, that the integral over a closed curve, no multiple, no multiple points, single valued function on smooth curve, and it, a function is analytical. The complex integral over this curve was just equal to zero. Although this theorem can be strengthened uh, to show it's applicable to more curves that are not so smooth, but still rectifiable. Uh, and that's it for complex integration. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please check out the rest in our playlist. Uh, thank you.